Defining Forces, Moments, and Pressure. In this task, we define the constraints in the model. In the ribbon, select the Refine Model tab. Click Weighted Link from the Connections group. The Weighted Link Definition dialog box appears. Select Surfaces from the Independent Side drop-down list. Select the cylindrical surface SURF colon F30 on the model as shown. Enable Point Display. In the Weighted Link Definition dialog box, Dependent Sides section, click in the Point field. Select PNT8 on the model as shown. Click OK. Repeat this procedure to create a second Weighted Link on the other end of the shaft. Select PNT9 as the dependent side point. Click Spring from the Idealizations group. The Spring Definition dialog box appears. Complete the following. Select to ground from the type drop-down list. Select single in the references section. Select PNT8 on the model. In the properties section, click more. The Spring Properties dialog box appears. Click New. The Spring Property Definition dialog box appears. Complete the Spring Property Definition dialog box as shown. In the Spring Property Definition dialog box, click OK. In the Spring Properties dialog box, click OK. In the Spring Definition dialog box, click OK. Define a second spring element to ground for PNT9 at the opposite end of the shaft. Complete the Spring Property Definition dialog box as shown and click OK to return to the Spring Properties dialog box. Click OK to close the Spring Properties and Spring Definition dialog boxes and complete the Spring Definition. In this task, we define the model loads. In the ribbon, select the Home tab. Click Force Moment Load from the Loads group. 
the Force Moment Load dialog box appears. In the Member of Set section, click New. The Load Set Definition dialog box appears. Type Belt underscore Preload in the Name field. Click OK. Select the curved surface on the model as shown. One surface should be displayed in the selection bin. In the Force Moment Load dialog box, select Selected in the Properties section. In the Model Tree, expand Simulation Features and select CS1. Select Force Per Unit Area from the Distribution drop-down list. In the Force section, type minus 23.8095 in the R field. Click Preview to review the load. Click OK. In the ribbon, select the Home tab. Click Force Moment Load from the Loads group. The Force Moment Load dialog box appears. In the Member of Set section, click New. The Load Set Definition dialog box appears. Type Torque in the Name field. Click OK. Select the curved surface on the model as shown. Two surfaces should be displayed in the selection bin. In the Force Moment Load dialog box, select Advanced in the Properties section. Select Total Load at Point from the Distribution drop-down list. In the Model, select PNT2. In the Moment section, type minus 50,000 in the Z field. Click Preview to review the load. Click OK. In the ribbon, select the Home tab. Click Force Moment Load from the Loads group. The Force Moment Load dialog box appears. In the Member of Set section, select Torque from the drop-down list. Select the curved surface on the model as shown. One surface should be displayed in the selection bin. In the Force Moment Load dialog box, select Selected in the Properties section. In the Model Tree, select CS1. Select Force Per Unit Area from the Distribution drop-down list. In the Force section, type 8.6614935 in the Theta field. Click Preview to review the load. Click OK. In the ribbon, select the Home tab. Click Force Moment Load from the Loads group. 
the Force Moment Load dialog box appears. In the Member of Set section, click New. The Load Set Definition dialog box appears. Type belt underscore addition underscore p underscore from underscore t in the name field. Click OK. Select the curved surface on the model as shown. One surface should be displayed in the selection bin. In the Force Moment Load dialog box, select Selected in the Properties section. In the Model Tree, select CS1. Select Force Per Unit Area from the Distribution drop-down list. Select Interpolated Over Entity from the Spatial Variation drop-down list. Press Control and select PNT3 and PNT4 from the model. In the value column, type 0 in the first field and type 27.2109 in the second field. In the force section, type minus 1 in the R field. Click Preview to review the load. Click OK. In this task, we define and run the static analysis. In the ribbon, select the Home tab. Click Analyses and Studies from the Run group. The Analyses and Design Studies dialog box appears. Click File, New Static. The Static Analysis Definition dialog box appears. Complete the following. In the Name field, type Shaft. Select only the following load sets in the Load Set Component section. Belt underscore preload, torque, belt underscore addition underscore p underscore from underscore t. Keep all other defaults. Click OK. Click Start Run. Click Yes to run Interactive Diagnostics. Click Display Study Status to view the summary report after the analysis is complete. This completes the demonstration.